to three relatively trouble-free sectors of Pabé, the first major incident came on number four. Oh, there's a crash at the back there. A number of riders have gone down, and that's why you have to ride at the front in these cobblestone section. It looks as if Frank Schleck has gone down there, champion of Luxembourg. I noticed him. Another rider went down was Yanni Brakovic of Team Radio Shack. This is the chaos at the back. This is why you have to ride at the front end of the main field. But Frank Schleck on the left-hand side there does not look very good at all. Frank Schleck was out with a broken collarbone and a race that was already split, split further. On section six, things got worse for Armstrong when he punctured, losing touch with the group containing Alberto Contador and Bradley Wiggins. Nine kilometres to go for the rider at the front as we speak, and these boys, are, well, it's really down to the work of two men, Andy Schleck and Cancellara. They are towing this group along, and they are trying to reach rider Hegedal here. And this is just nine kilometres from the finish of the race. Here comes the Armstrong group. It's a big gap this, they're under the 10 kilometres to go board. But they're losing ground, Paul. Yeah, but what a job being done there by that man wearing number 28. Yaroslav Popovich is burying himself for Armstrong this afternoon. The power of Armstrong as he starts to stamp on those pedals. He's desperate now, he's got across. He always has loved riding the cobblestones. He goes so well on them. And now it's all down to him. But down there, this very, very select little group of riders, but they still can't nail back Ryder Hegedal. As a Ryder Hegedal goes on the left of our picture, and the quick chase, or was it a false start? A false start, I think. Andy Schleck is going to open it up. They've even put cobbles down the road here as we race towards the finish now. It is Andy Schleck on the right, Torhushoff on the left of our picture. His big tour, the God of Thunder, going to fire again now. As he comes clear, he takes the stage. And in second place is Geraint Thomas. And in third place, the world champion, Cadell Evans. Everyone's reconned it. We've been there, special bikes, wheels. And um, here we are, you know, finishing eighth place on the stage. G finished second, so it was a great day for Team Sky. It's amazing, you know, to go across those those cobbles in, in the front group was uh, really special with, with that jersey on. And, you know, all the crowd there was just a really special day. And I mean, the whole team did a fantastic uh, performance today. Uh, we lost Frank Schleck, that's for sure. Not, yeah, it's not so good, but uh, that's part of the game, part of cycling. No complaints. I mean, that's that's... Bad luck was uh, was with me today, and, and you know, look at look at the results. Everybody thought, oh, the climbers are going to lose minutes today, and they were the ones in the front, and the guy who was supposed to take advantage of it was the one in the back, and that's the nature of racing. So I have to I have to accept that and and go on and and, and do my best in the next two and a half weeks.